sexy. Two egg. Your mind, it is like a gun. And you want to load it up with little itty bitty bullets of knowledge. Alrighty, family, you already know what it is, man. It's your guy, Boy, the Lucky Libra. Thank you for tuning in to another episode, all right? And as you can see by the title, we're jumping into the Cusp Sign Series, all right? So we just wrapped up the Deacon Sign Series, talking about the different temperaments of each constellation from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. These are three different zodiac signs within one. All right, same zodiac sign, but different temperament, different influences within that same constellation. So when we look at cusp energies, you guys want to go ahead, click the link in my description and go ahead and check out the video that I made dealing with breaking down degrees and cusp in the natal chart. OK, but when we look at cusp stages in the natal chart, this is the, the orb. All right. From 28 degrees of a sign to two degrees of a sign. So if you have any planets in your chart, that's 28, 29, 0, 1, and 2 degrees of a sign, this is a cusp. You need to understand that whether it's your sun, your moon, your Mercury, your Mars, they're picking up on two, two energies which are planted there. So, you know, me, myself, my sun is on a cusp. My sun is 28 degrees Libra, all right? So when we look at 28 degrees, 28 and 29 degrees would be the last stages, the elderly, old stages of a sign. And the 28, 20, 28 and 29 degrees of the, you know, the late stage of a sign would be utilizing one and two degrees of the next sign to support it. So I'm a Libra heavily supported and influenced by Scorpio energy, all right? So this is how we want to look at it. If uh, I was born a couple of days later and landed on that, my son landed on that one, two degree, I would be a young baby Scorpio supported by the wisdom and elderly energy of that uh, Libra constellation of 28, 29 degrees. Now, if I was born right in the middle in zero degrees, I would be 50-50. This is when we can actually say uh, a planet is picking up 50% energies when it's zero degrees. So if your sun is zero degrees cancer, you are a Gemini cancer. <laughs> Straight up 50-50. Me being 28 degrees, I'm a Libra, but I'm just heavily influenced by Scorpio energy, all right? So this is how we gauge it from 28, 29 to 1, 2, and that zero 50, 50% type meter there. We want to understand cusp is an orb. Once again, check out my video on cusp and degrees in the NATO chart to get more of a description on it. But right now, we opening up the series, all right, of the cusp elements. And first, we are starting with the fire earth cusp. All right, this video is gonna be the fire earth cusp. Now, when we deal with the fire earth cusp, okay, I called, I, I gave all these elements a theme and a name, all right? So I'm calling the fire earth cusp, turning the vision into reality. All right, turning the vision into reality. Now, when we look at the fire earth energy, these are gonna be your Aries Taurus, these are gonna be your Leo Virgos, and these are gonna be your Sagittarius Capricorns. Now, fire is dealing with how we see, how we feel, our awareness, insight, all right? Expression, creativity, okay? And earth is dealing with stability, foundation, having a container to hold on to something, to build. All right, security. So when we uh, implement both of these influences, when we implement both of these elements, okay, the energies that fall into this, uh, into these cusp are gonna find ways to utilize their creativity, how they see things, their awareness, their insight and whatnot, and find ways to make it practical, stable. So these people wanna make their creativity forms of business, career, a, a, a form of stability, a foundation for them to stand on. These people truly want, they, they put heavy work ethic into their creative attributes, all right? These people see a lot of reality and how they choose to gain a foundation in the physical realm based off of things dealing with their creative attributes or forms of expression. So they all do it differently. So this is why I themed it um, turning the vision into reality. So first, let's start with the Aries Taurus cusp. 
So I call this cuss the practical warrior. All right, call this the practical warrior. So we got Aries is cardinal fire ruled by Mars and Taurus is fixed uh, earth ruled by Venus. So here we're combining cardinal energy with uh, fixed energy. So we got the starter initiate leader energy with the fixated uh, long-term longevity focused energy. All right, the, uh, you know, the, uh, yeah, you could use the word focused. I had another word in my head, but you know, the more dialed in like energy. So when we combine that, now you already have somebody that's able to create things, but, but stay the course, create things and be able to have a longevity approach to it. Just having that modality with it together. All right. Now, when we throw it with fire and earth, we already understand the theme of that, but with this element, with Mars and Venus here, that's why I call it the practical warrior because this is gonna be a lot of passion in this cusp. So uh, if it's somebody with a sun in this cusp of Aries Taurus, if they more so leaning on uh, 28 and 29 degrees, all right, this person's gonna be, you know, that type of Aries that, you know, a little bit more settled with how they push out their actions and whatnot, okay? But they're definitely dealing with a bit more patience well, how they deal with they, uh, the things that, you know, naturally makes the Aries want to dive head first into, okay? And be real action oriented because it gives it a thrill or inspires it, motivates it. Okay, that's the Aries energy, that Mars passion there. But it got that Earth Venus element to it. So it's able to see how it could plant a more practical seed in it, the practical warrior. So the, the, the willpower is going to be here. The thrust, the drive towards things that it wants to attack in its life, certain goals, or you know, even dealing with things that may frustrate it. These people, these the people that fall in this this cuss, like they have a way to just at least find a uh, you know little gaps to calm down the temperament, calm down the passion. Let it's like it's like when we look at Mars, Mars is like the big brother of the family. You look at Venus is like the oldest sister. So they clash, all right, because the brother just is the leader. The oldest sibling go does what he wants to do. Could be hard on Venus about who she's around, what boy she's dating. But Venus shows ways of Mars dealing with more compassion, all right? More uh, appreciation to things in their life. So this person is going to add some more appreciation and more time into how they deal with their passions. It's the practical warrior. So these people, uh, they are very ambitious in the uh, with their creative pursuits. These people, uh, they want to be able to relate their passions with others too. So when you on this cusp, uh, yeah, when you on this cusp, you're more open than the other energies with Aries or whatnot. Once you fall into this cusp, you're going to be more open and seeing how you could connect some of these passions with others to build a bit. Because Taurus is dealing, got that Venus influence there. And Venus dealing with relatability. These people are very creative. Like, I mean, I mean... When you throw that fire energy with this Venus influence here, it's like the way they push out their art. All right, the way they push out their art is it's a it's a a, a real pride to their art. That's that is a real pride and ego behind their art. So they could deal with some vulnerability, like they could deal with some vulnerability when they art or their performance on something's being critiqued. All right, Mars don't like dealing with all that extra critiquing energy and that, all that realistic shit. It just wants to push its passions out, okay? But uh, you know, there's gonna they these people put their heart into what they what it is that they doing on a creative endeavor. And when we talking about uh, business endeavors, these these are uh, the people that fall into this cusp. Yeah, like these energies could really uh, find some real uh dope strategies to put a creative idea into some type of container here because taurus is going to implement it to be valued taurus is not going to allow a lot of aries may just uh you know um just want to go just want to go ahead and go through the experience of acting on their goal they don't want to sit and be impatient on it I like that all that time is like come on you wait like you this time wasted all right 
And Taurus is like on this cusp, it can't allow the passion to just be executed without some more, uh, uh, you know, practical intent to it. The passion has to be, you know, uh, evaluated to see how it could be supported before we take action on it. So, you know, these these people on this cusp, once they continue to learn the balance between how they find that patience and their passions, you know, y'all are beasts in the things that y'all do in attacking this lifetime. Okay. Uh, these people could be... Uh, the Aries Taurus cusp, they could be passionate romantic lovers. They could be passionate romantic lovers. They could want to fight for the people that they love. I ain't call it the practical warrior for nothing. So, the Aries gonna whip your ass. But once this, once Aries sister Venus tells Aries that uh, some dude is bothering her at school, Aries ain't got no strategy. Aries just, all Aries know is red, we out. <laughs> About to pound this nigga out. And with this, with this, I don't know if, I don't know which, which Aries is worse. With that Aries you want to, I don't know if you want to see that Aries that ain't got no plan and strategy but just whip your ass or if you want to see the practical warrior. Cause he gonna know what time y'all get out of school. He gonna know this Aries gonna know uh, uh, on this cusp. <laughs> Whether it's a Taurus leaning on the Aries side or an Aries leaning on Taurus, they gonna have the strategy. They gonna know what time you get out of school. They gonna keep the frustration. Uh, they gonna keep the frustration that they have to whip your ass const concentrated. That was the word I was looking for uh, uh, earlier when I was saying longevity, and I said dial. Then they could keep the passion concentrated. But uh, they gonna keep the pat the anger that what you did to their sister concentrated, and they gonna make sure they 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 passion doesn't go uh you know not utilized the right way by not having the right strategy to put it into. Like they gonna know what time you get out of school. They gonna know uh that you walk this way home and the, that you that you walk this way home and the cops don't be there, so they could whip your ass and not get locked up. Like this is, they they gonna have some strategy to how they have to whip your ass and they passions all right <laughs> so this is what we're dealing with with the practical warrior all right now the leo virgo cusp I, this is one of my favorite cusp in the zodiac this is one of my favorite energies in the zodiac i love this energy leo virgo cusp i call this the creative perfectionist okay now when we look at this cusp we know leo is fixed fire ruled by the sun all right fixed fire ruled by the sun so this is being fixated in your ways of dealing with how you creatively, artistically express yourself, deal with entertainment, how you like to be seen, how you like to place your talents and what you're good at and known for on the stage. And then we have um, Virgo, mutable earth ruled by Mercury, being flexible and adaptable to all forms of uh, stability, building, what's going on in reality, being able to see the details of things and being able to structure it in some type of routine and schedule it and see how things work and experiment, all right? Uh, the master researchers. So when you put this energy together, you gonna have somebody that when it comes to what they creatively into, they they turn into the, the, the master students of what they doing creatively. So if this is a, if this is a singer, they trying to learn from everybody that that they inspired them. How to, they're trying to find out how their idol worked on their uh, talents and how their idol crafted it. Like this is what they're dying to know. All right, the Virgo wants to see how things work. Leo's in a creative expression. So and, and Virgo gives a strong work ethic to things. So it's like this cusp, like they're very serious and don't play with how they deal with their creative endeavors, with how they perform, how they express them, express themselves. This person got to get on the podium and make, make a speech, all right? God damn, that speech going to be dynamic, but it's going to be articulated like it's going to be like a masterpiece is going to be the way it's articulated on top of the way it's expressed and performed, all right? Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant. R.I.P. to the GOAT, Kobe Bryant, he fall on this cusp. 
So look at the way that he deals with expressing himself. And I like to say, you know, sports, especially basketball, is a form of art. You best believe it. Okay? And uh, look at his work ethic. Look at his sense of routine. Look at his sense of schedule with his creative endeavor, with his art, with his passion. All right? Like, if you know Kobe Bryant, like people, you even have to know Kobe Bryant to understand how 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 he was a, a a a psycho when it came to when it came to his hard work ethic, when it came to how he would push himself. All right, that's part of the reason he inspired the majority of the world. He did not even just so much through his uh you know spectacular performance, but also through the mindset behind it, through the work ethic, through. All the stories other pros have of him saying how he was in the gym hours before the game and then the night before the game and then he still scores 40 on us and then he's he's priding himself off of wor outworking others in what he's in the lane he's in in the industry he's in in the forms of expression he's dealing with all right so the 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 uh the detail here the attention for detail for what they work for what they creatively into here they don't know they don't play with that they don't play with that here all right uh the leo virgo they're very um man this cusp they're very wise with how they deal with their creative attributes they study how other people deal with expressing their creativity all right they find ways to prioritize what they creatively into like, this, this is not no, they not going to not have time for it. They not going to allow, you know, other influences to play that much of a distraction in, into what they creatively into or trying to cultivate here. These people work a, a turn a, turn a, uh, you would think, you would think they came into the world talented with some of these things. Nah, they, they ended up working the fuck out of that shit. Like, they ended up working on that shit. <laughs> Now, Leo gonna have some natural talent to beam off to the world here, okay? And, uh, we all have talents. We all have talents and natural gifts, but this is what makes the Leo constellation special in being ruled by the sun and having the energy that they have because they are actually the influence to help us understand that. They are the influence to light other people up and, and let you understand, like, damn, maybe I should be expressing myself a certain way. Maybe I should be creatively expressing myself. Maybe I should be gaining some attention. Maybe I should be learning how to deal with attention and light and spotlight for something in his lifetime. Yeah, that, that's what Leos are here to teach us. That's what they, everybody's here to, every sign is here to teach us something, family. So, yeah, the, uh, the Leo Virgo cuts. Yeah, now they go, now they, as much as they got that work ethic and everything, they go be super critical of themselves. Super duper critical of themselves, but it comes, but it comes with great power, comes with great responsibility, and come with, and is backed and supported by that work ethic. All right. Um. Now we have the Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. All right, Sagittarius Capricorn cusp, and I call this the wise hustler, the wise hustler. So you know, and. And another thing, another thing about the Leo Virgo, actually about the Leo Virgo, uh, you know, with the Leo Virgo, cause it's fixed mutable. So you got Leo fixed energy and Virgo mutable. So here, this is a person that knows how to transform you know, has a has a bit more uh is a bit more adept to transforming things when they're seeing it's not working, or or being able to kick it into another gear once they find out it is working. Both spectrums, all right. With this fixed mo fixed mutable modality here, you know, fixed is dealing with consistency. All right, concentrated vision on things, concentrated feeling on things. Since it's Leo, we dealing with concentrated vision and feeling because it's fire. 
but the modality of the mu the mutable energy energy of Virgo helps this creative this create uh this creative whether they're artists it's Leo energy artists uh, uh you know whatever they may be doing with business be real estate a a agent but they're gonna know how to be able to see what needs the tweaks they pick up on this quick but especially when it's dealing with their creative endeavors all right now um and they're able to see how other people are dealing oh this is another one they're able to see how other people are dealing with their creative endeavors and how the other people need to tweak these things this is why these people could end up being a lot of coaches and influencers for what is it they're doing in their industry because uh they have such a once again attention for detail for the things dealing with creativity or things dealing with expression or how you can act on something because there's the sun energy here all right uh things dealing with moving the body the vitality so whether it's uh it could be modeling here. It could be things that we utilize our body to be seen and express ourselves, but especially creativity in an entertainment field. These people could become real uh, influencers and coaches here. All right. Uh, you know, people that other people in the industry go to to learn how to do things in this area. Definitely with that Leo Virgo cusp. And then we got the Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. All right. I call this cusp the wise hustler. The wise hustler. Now, when we look at Sagittarius, Sagittarius is mutable fire ruled by Jupiter. Okay, so this is being adaptable, changeable towards how it deals with expressing itself. All right, learning from how other people deal with their forms of expression or how they see things and what they're aware of. But I got that Jupiter energy here, so it's gonna have a philosophical, spiritual influence on top of it. It's gonna look at things from a broader perspective, okay? It's gonna try to see how it can expand on different forms of knowledge and wisdom. But it wants to share that type of energy, it wants to enlighten others and uh, find ways to be taught. Now, um, when we talk about Capricorn, this is Cardinal Earth ruled by saturn so this that once again pioneer initiate starter like energy here but in the earth element so starting new ways to structure starting new ways to build starting new ways to look at something realistically so when we put this together first of all is mutable and cardinal so we got that exchangeable energy but being able to use the exchangeable energy or the energy of connecting with others from the external realm and in the world and what they got going on and to make create some substance out of that and and start initiate light it up build something off that uh knowledge and wisdom all right in a practical way so that's why i call it the wise hustler because these people are gonna be uh they're gonna have a way of looking at things from a practical aspect on how they could utilize resources or look at things uh you know from a common sense lens but at the same time they're going to also take what they've learned from what they're working on what they're trying to build connect to in order to put it all together so it's like a perfect blend of some knowledge and wisdom and some practicality here okay so this person when they're doing business they're able to uh detach from just the practical aspect of things and actually look at some things from a philosophical standpoint and even though business be about business and looking at things practically they'll get a subconscious feel about something that has nothing to do with uh some evidence or idea or a detail that they could point out and why it's going to make sense but philosophical or on a on a spiritual level they're looking at things you know they, they could blend they could blend spirituality with things with reality here and make sure the two don't intertwine all right so you know these 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 uh people on this cusp uh you know they have a lot of knowledge wisdom about reality all right they have a lot of knowledge and wisdom about reality so they always try to school you on how you can build something school you on how you can get some order and structure in your life school you on what you could do to start you know, helping you get on your feet to do something that you said you really want to do, but don't got the resources. This is already going to be the natural Capricorn energy, but with Sagittarius here, it gets around. It's that spread. So they learn a lot about business. This energy wants to learn and, and, and experience a lot about uh, like when these people have business endeavors or whatnot or just certain aspirations and things that they want to build and structure because career uh, Capricorn dealing with like that legacy type of energy so Sagittarius here wants to learn about all different type of ways to experience these different things it's gonna dive into just starting something or whatnot business-wise or a career, a career goal or whatnot and and was willing to learn through the experiences of these things here okay but it's a quick learner here 
That's the thing. So I, this cuss is a quick learner. All right. The sense to build, but also see what's going out in the world and what it's accumulated and learn and adding out, adding out all that. Like it would don't. This this cuss don't neglect the knowledge and wisdom. It can add on to what it's building. It's gonna reflect and see what it already knows here to make to build some give something some foundation here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, they have a great subconscious feel for things that they dealing with and and uh, connecting to with Capricorn with this cusp, okay. And this cusp is actually a, they're actually good listeners too. They're actually good listeners too. You know, Sagittarius wants to give off and express is masculine, okay. It's fire, but at the same time, Capricorn is is got that earth influence of wanting to hone in so here it's honing on some knowledge and wisdom about what is trying to organize and structure to get that perfect combination all right get that perfect combination of common sense and the knowledge it already has all right and seeing how it could you know fuse that but they're definitely going to be expressive about you know things dealing with reality they're definitely going to be expressive about their philosophical standpoints about things dealing with reality society and how they see things all right good things in the government they're gonna be you gonna you gonna see some of that with this cusp, all right. But this uh, this cusp can be very down to earth as well, all right, family. So this is the cusp energies. Go ahead and leave a comment if you got a sun, moon, Mercury in this cusp energy and how you relate and resonate with these energies in this lifetime. All right. So until next time, family. Y'all go ahead check out the Patreon. Go ahead and hit the website, book a consultation, or reading. Connect with the lucky Libra. Until next time, family. Peace.